Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. So in this video, we're actually going to take uh, our, what we've learned in the previous one of setting up the uh, chorus stack, and we're actually going to go through and tune some search. So we've heard from Pete that we have some queries that don't work very well. So here I'm on our demo site, and we're actually going to go do a search for notebook. Um, we're looking for sort of notebook computers, uh, as that's what we stock. And so we do a quick search here. And you can see, OK, oh, yeah, this these are these these are, you know, notebook accessories. But you kind of got to dig down for quite a while. Uh, and now we're in just sort of notebook part. So this is a pretty common challenge in search. Uh, we've also heard that laptops isn't a very good query. So we're going to look here for laptop. And those look like laptops right there. But then when we look a little bit closer, we realize these are screen protectors for laptops. And again, lots of different accessories. So what, what can we do about this? Well, the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we can measure how bad this problem is. So what I often like to do is set up my web store on half the screen. And then I'm going to go into Cupid and I'm going to use that case, that relevancy case that we set up on the last video with our two queries, notebook and laptop. And so looking here, we have our two queries. Let's go ahead and open up laptop. And as you can see, the products that we see over on the left in our web store are the products that we see inside of Cupid. We've gone ahead and we picked a score, NDCG at five. And without getting into the details of scores, what this is, is saying is we're going to look at the top five search results and we're going to score them. And we're going to calculate a number on sort of a zero to one. So here are our search results from zero, which is I'm like angry at how bad this result is, to perfect, which would be like the most perfect result in the world. However, with a query like laptop, it's actually very hard to say that there's one perfect result. And, you know, when I look at these, they're sort of vaguely related to laptops. They're accessories for laptops. So I'm going to give it sort of a poor rating. Right, and I can come down here, and this is another poor rating. A cable lock for a laptop, that's a poor rating, so on and so forth. And I can rate all my documents, and as you can see, this is manipulating a score. So I'm not scoring a zero, as in just nothing, uh, but I've got a low score. Same thing for these notebooks, right? I can look at this and, well, it's a notebook backpack, so I'll give it a poor rating as well because it's, you know, vaguely relevant but not great. It's not the notebook laptop that we're really, notebook computer that we're really looking for. Likewise, cooling stand, uh, a notebook case, and all the rest. So now one of the things that we've done for you is... Um, we've already rated a lot of these documents for you. So we're gonna go ahead and you notice we have this little frog here who's saying hop to it. There are unrated results. Let's go ahead and import uh, the ratings. So in this katas, there we go. And so there's our ratings file. We'll go ahead and import all that data. And now you can see that the little frog went away because all of our documents are rated. And you can see that all of these just ended up being ones, right? They're just, they're not truly terrible, but they're not good. And so our score on our NDCG score is a 0.14. And so we can see that. Okay, so what can we do about this? What can we do this? 
Well, this is where we're going to take advantage of the powerful, quirky query rewriting li library that ships as part of Chorus and SMUI, the search management user interface, which allows us to establish some rules for fixing our search results. Uh, so I like to have SMUI on the right hand side and my web store on the left. Uh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start out with our notebook query. So as you remember, default algorithm notebook, we're primarily getting back accessories. Um, but because we're going to be building custom rules using SMUI, we want to switch over to our quirky algorithm. Now, because we have no rules, this is an empty setup here, we pretty much are expecting mostly, you know, we're not expecting good results back. So let's go ahead and let's add the query notebook. So one of the things that we know is that um, we actually have a field uh, with the notebook uh, attribute type um, that we could be bo boosting on. So we're going to go ahead and add a up boost rule. And the more pluses you get is sort of the more impact it has on the score. So we're going to be boosting up. And we're actually going to boost just on the attribute underscore t underscore product type field. And we're going to boost on all the documents who have the attribute type notebook. We'll go ahead and save those that rule. And let's go ahead and push that configuration out to solar. I'm just going to deploy the file, restart solar. Now let's go back over here and let's see what happens. Hey, look at that. These are all notebooks, right? So what we're saying is that with the explicit query notebook, when that comes in, we want to boost on the attribute. And as you can see that, you know, we're only impacting the search input notebook. So we're not impacting other types of search. Uh, and it, you know, kind of did what we want. But our other query was laptop, right? We know that laptop wasn't working for us very well. So let's go ahead and check our laptop query. And as we, we saw previously, right, these results are not what we expect. These are all accessories. Well, one thing, though, that we know is that laptop and notebook are synonyms for each other. So let's go ahead and using SMUI, let's go add another rule and let's establish that notebook and laptop are the same. OK, so we've made that change. We're going to go ahead and push that out. Now, when we do a search for laptop, We've mapped it to the input um, notebook and we're boosting on the product type notebook. And there we go. Both laptop and notebook are now returning the results we would expect. So that's great. That's encouraging. But, you know, we do want to be data driven. So let's go back to Cupid and let's see if we can't measure the improvement. Let's see if we can get some proof. So... Uh, I'm going to go in and I am going to specify that we need we're using our quirky algorithm. So the query type instead of the default search is a slash quirky select handler, which is what has our new rules. And I'm going to go ahead and rerun my searches and look at that. Our score jumped to the perfect score that we might expect, which is all notebooks. So as you can see in our rating file, we had given all of these notebooks as a three. They're all relevant results, right? They're all good. None of them are perfect as in a four because it is kind of a broad query for notebook, right? There is no one perfect notebook for that query. So they're all threes. But because in our top five positions are all the best documents that we have available, which are all rated threes. We get a total score of one, which is the highest possible score we can get with our NDCG. 
here you go. So what you saw was that we had bad relevance uh, with our default algorithm. And we used Cupid to measure the quality of our search results. And then we came in and we used Smooey to create these new rules and deploy them. And then we re, you know, visually kind of played and looked at the results and confirmed that that what they were want. Then we came back into Cupid, reran our uh, queries, you know, looked at the algorithm, confirmed according to our judgment list that we had improved the search results. All right, thank you very much.